In the foggy dawn of the universe, an object has emerged that has left scientists amazed. Observations collected through the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed an active supermassive black hole 10 million times the mass of the Sun, an ancient and distant black hole that was born when the universe was barely 570 million years old. This black hole is so weird that you might think it could be from another universe. Multiversal theorists will have a chuckle there. Black holes can form when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives or when two smaller holes merge. But how and when did the first black holes form? These are questions that have puzzled scientists and space enthusiasts for decades. Hello, and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we discuss the oldest supermassive black hole detected by the James Webb Space Telescope and why it wants us to reconsider our knowledge of the early universe. But before we begin, please give this video a thumbs up. According to our current theories, the first black holes should have formed about 100 million years after the Big Bang when the first stars and galaxies started to form. These black holes were probably very small, only a few times the mass of the Sun, but over time they grew bigger and bigger by swallowing more matter and merging with other black holes. Eventually, some of them became supermassive, with masses of millions or billions of suns. In the early stages of the universe, it was filled with a mist of neutral hydrogen that stopped light from spreading. Only after this hydrogen changed to an ionized state could light move freely. This period, known as the epoch of reionization, is still not fully understood. We know it happened within the first billion years after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. But looking that far back into the early universe is tough. The research team was able to figure out which light emissions in the data were coming from the black hole and which were coming from the galaxy it was in. They could also figure out how fast the black hole was eating up gas and determine the star formation rate in its galaxy. The presence of this relatively small black hole so early in the universe's timeline poses interesting questions about how it formed so rapidly after the universe's inception. Researchers have long believed that smaller black holes would have existed in the early universe, but solid evidence was not available until the Webb telescope began its observations. Sears 1019 and a handful of other super-early galaxies are excellent targets for this research because they are relatively bright. The galaxy was identified in Hubble data in 2015 and at the time was the earliest, most distant galaxy observed. Subsequent observations confirmed its existence, but more detailed information remained elusive. So when the James Webb Telescope came along, Sears 1019, the brightest of the Hubble galaxies from this epoch was an obvious target. The telescope stared at the galaxy for just one hour with all four of its instruments, but returned a wealth of data. Scientists found the most distant active galactic nucleus, AGN, and the most distant earliest black hole ever found. Scientists were initially looking at CRS 1019 as part of their work investigating light produced by star formation in the very early universe. The relatively small size of the black hole at the center of Sears 1019 is somewhat of a puzzle. According to a statement from the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, which manages the James Webb Telescope's science operations, it is still difficult to explain how it formed so soon after the universe began. Astronomers have long suspected that smaller black holes must have formed in the early days of the universe. But these observations are the first to see them in such detail. At the moment, I was kind of like, wow, look at everything we can see with Webb. We've seen this whole portion of the spectrum of this galaxy and any galaxies early on in the universe we've never seen before. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of information, said astrophysicist Rebecca Lawson. But then she noticed something she wasn't quite expecting. In addition to the light of star formation, there was a broad emission feature usually associated with AGN and when she mentioned it to some AGN researchers, things got interesting. Typically, a galaxy in the early universe emits either light from an AGN or light from star formation. To see both in the same galaxy was extremely unexpected. There is some impact that the black hole is having on the emission lines that we're seeing, but most of the light we see in our images is still dominated by the star-forming part of the galaxy. 
at just 570 million years after the Big Bang. This is the earliest growing supermassive black hole detected yet, although scientists are hoping it won't remain the record holder for long. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled ability to peer deep into space, has uncovered a mind-boggling revelation. Scientists have discovered what they believe to be the oldest known black hole in the universe, owing to the telescope's ultra-powerful sensors that captured this elusive entity. This supermassive black hole, which dwarfs our sun by a staggering 10 million times, existed at the center of a galaxy Sears 1019, 570 million years after the universe's inception, a remote time it's difficult to fathom. In the study, two more black holes, smaller than usual, were found to have existed approximately 1 billion and 1.1 billion years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope has also identified 11 galaxies from a time when the universe was between 470 million and 675 million years old. These were first spotted as a series of fuzzy dots that appeared unusually bright and unusually red. These discoveries were made possible by the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Sears, survey, led by Stephen Finkelstein of the University of Texas at Austin. The team was able to determine which emissions in the spectrum are from the black hole and which are from its host galaxy. They also found that the galaxy is ingesting as much gas as possible while producing new stars. Visually, Sears 1019 appears as three bright clumps, not a single circular disk, suggesting that a galaxy merger could be partly responsible for fueling the activity in this galaxy's black hole. The Sears survey is expansive, and there's a lot more to explore. Another pair of small black holes were quickly spotted in the data within the galaxies Sears 2782 and Sears 746. These black holes are only about 10 million times the mass of the Sun, further supporting the idea that smaller black holes must have existed earlier in the universe. The discovery of such huge galaxies so soon after the Big Bang implies that the so-called Dark Ages might not have been so dark after all. It suggests that the universe might have been filled with star creation much earlier than we previously thought. Moreover, the discovery of this black hole just 500 million years after the universe was born is a mystery in itself. Our understanding of the early universe is changing faster than we anticipated, and whether we're ready or not, it's time to rethink the universe's beginnings. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The discovery of this old and distant black hole has already challenged our theories and models about how black holes form and evolve. It has opened up new possibilities for studying the early universe. But who knows, this might just be the start. What's your opinion? With each discovery, we deepen our understanding of the universe and our role in it. We learn more about the laws that govern the cosmos, the nature of time and space, and the origins and fate of the universe. If you have followed us this far, then make sure to hit the like and subscribe button with lightning fast speed and click on the video on your screen to explore more about the mysteries of the universe. See you there.